What's really good? We back. It's the Box Click and more. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the Lions Den Box Community LDBC. Shout out to the YTBC and everybody in between. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. And we working. And, uh, you know, if you didn't catch my video about uh, Javante Tank Davis potentially taking on this uh, Jesus, you know, Andreas Sellier guy. Can't pronounce his last name. Um, it's the guy who lost to Adam Maras uh, uh, last year on Fox. But it was a uh, Ivan Morris and Leo Santa Cruz uh, co-feature. Somehow he takes the loss and he becomes like the number one featherweight, super featherweight, because he moved up in weight after the loss. And him and Tank is about to get it on for a regular WBA title. They took away from the super featherweight division. Now they about to bring the regular WBA title back after saying they was trying to cut the uh, the number of titles they had. So uh, we also talked about WBA yesterday. This what the, what is the super WBA title and you know. It's origin, so you can check the video archives for that as well. But I will link the the, uh, the tank video uh, to this description. If I forget, just let me know in the comment section. But um, you know, I, I I'm trying to wonder why, and I'm gonna give my examples right here, or I'm gonna give you know why I came to this collusion. I'm trying to wonder why Mayweather Promotions is protecting. We know they're protecting Davis from uh from Lomachenko, okay? And I think you know Davis can match up good with Lomachenko, probably with a little bit more seasoning. But why are they protecting him from Tevin Farmer, man? Okay, I understand, you know, the Kenichi Ogawa guy. It's the guy that beat Tevin Farmer. I thought Farmer won by two points. Uh, you know, and I didn't think neither one of them was shit. I keep real. That was a horrible, nasty fight. Nobody landed anything of significant force. You know, and Ogawa didn't do nothing. Tevin Farmer, he at least tried to be aggressive in that fight some. He landed a cleaner, more effective shot. I said a cleaner shot because none of the shots was effective. He can't, he can't, he can't, he can't crack an egg. But, um, but yeah, he, you know, they tried, you know, I mean, they, they did their thing, but the thing is this, why, why isn't Tank still trying to regain his IBF title? You know, because if Aguawa is, is going to be found, you know, guilty because he, he got popped, if you didn't know, for a performance enhancing drug. And I, I don't know what it's taking so long for them to, uh, to announce, you know, what are they going to do with Kenichi Aguawa? You know, are they going to order another uh, fight between him and Tevin Farmer? Are they going to strip him? I mean, if he guilty, he guilty. If he pop, got popped the drug test, I mean, it's nothing to say nothing about it. You know, it's nothing to say about it. If he popped the drug test, you strip him, and you order the next two highest contenders in the IBF, which is Tevin and, and, and Tank to fight. But for some reason, they doing a due process, which is the IBF, and, and they do. And they have a track record of doing a due process. They had a track record of doing a due process with uh, Lamont Peterson, you know, you know, they, they, they did their thing and let him uh and they and WBA stripped them and you know, they cleared uh, Lamont for that. So they probably get Kenichi Ogawa every chance to uh, you know, you know, test clean for him to keep that belt. Because Tank did call him out and say, you know what, you know, after he beat Tevin, well I guess I'm going to Japan. Because he was the next highest rated guy. Him and Billy was supposed to be for a title eliminator or something like that. But uh now I guess he I guess the Mayweather promotions don't want uh tank the weight. You know, for this outcome, they need an opponent. And uh, I guess they was trying to go for the IBF and stay in the rankings and, and go high in the rankings. But Billy Dib hasn't been one to mix it up with nobody. He pulled out a, a negotiation with Tevin Farmer. Now he pulled out with Tank Davis. So it looks like the Mayweather Promotions and, and Javante Tank Davis is done with the IBF. So maybe that's their scenario right there, you know. I'm not sure if you can unify the regular WBA belt with the, uh, you know, with another with, an, with another big change in the body belt because the super WBA belt once you become super champion you know that was the only championship at, you know at super featherweight but now you, when you become a champion you become the super champion excuse me when you hold another title belt or you make five defenses of the WBA title you become the super champion or if you get the IBF or the WBA or the WBC you get elevated to super champion so i mean what if the regular WBA champion gets another belt because albert Alberto, I think it's Albert, you know, Machado, he beat Jezreel Corrales, and he's a super uh, WBA champion. So is uh, Javante Tank Davis going to become the regular WBA champion, and then, you know, he could fight, and maybe him, they could fight Albert Machado, and who's the guy that's got like 19-0 and with 16 knockouts, good puncher, and then, you know, then the regular WBA becomes vacant, they can go for it, and then if Tevin is, is given the belt or given the opportunity at the belt, him and Tevin can become an undisputed type of, I mean, not undisputed, a, a unified type, they can unify titles. Maybe that's Mayweather's promotions thinking to making a Tevin versus Tank fight big because 
you know, when Little Antelope, proof number two, was on Fight Hype, and I guess one of Tevin Farmer team team members were, were asking him questions about Tevin Farmer. You know, he was like, well, when y'all going to fight Tevin? But Tevin is the one that pulled out of the fight or didn't want to fight on a, on a Mayweather-McGregor undercard, said he'd just rather fight Billy Dibbs and enjoy the process of being a mandatory to Tank Davis down the road. Tank lost his belt that night on the scales. So it's been a lot of tit for tat. And you know what I'm going to say? I don't think they protected him from Tevin Farmer, but I believe they're trying to set up a big fight between these two. I think uh, eventually Tevin Farmer um, may be given another uh, vacant title shot. You know, if Kenichi Ogawa is, is busted, I think him and, and the next highest contender is going to fight for the ABF title. I think uh, Javante Tank Davis, if he can get past the Jesus guy for the regular WA title, I think him him and uh, Albert Machado down the line will be a hell of a fight. Albert Machado is 5'10". He could punch. They could fight. He can get past Machado. I think they want bigger, bigger plans for, for Tevin Farmer. I think Tevin and Tank might end up being a co-feature or, or headlining a card somewhere down on the East Coast. You know, may, may it be the MGM Harbor Bay, Harbor. And, and down there in the, uh, uh, you know, D.C. Uh, D- D.C. or Maryland, right in there, or you know, maybe they can do it in the Barclays Center. So I think, I think they're trying to build Tevin and uh, tank up. Cause you remember Lou DeBella said that um, for sure they was gonna fight, but they was just trying to build this fight up. And I think that's what they're doing. I trying to, I trying to, I think they're trying to make Tevin and um, Javante Tank Davis a big, undis- a big uh, unified uh, championship fight, and then that'll take Tevin Star to another. Um, Star status or Tevin, if you can win, I doubt it. I don't take a bat past Tevin. That's why I don't understand why they didn't go ahead and make that fight happen for the IBF. But I think I think they believe that Tevin can be a Guava in a rematch or the next highest contender, become an IBF champion. They believe Tank could be win the WBA and, and possibly be Albert Machado, become a Super WBA champion, and then they can unify. And I think that's the method behind a madness, you know. And then when he become a unified champion, they can start really pushing, you know, Javante Tank Davis down every boxing fan's throat. And um, but can he continue to make the weight? Is the is the issue? Is he going to be disciplined to make the weight, or will he have to be forced to go to thirty five and answer Lomachenko questions again? That's the remain to be seen. It's the boss of Clinkamore. We out.